magical people uh, welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello and welcome my name's Katie and welcome to my channel I do Harry Potter related videos and slim world related videos so feel free to check out my channel and if you like what you see then don't forget to hit that subscribe button so today I've actually got an unboxing video for you uh, it's from a company called Goblin Wood and it's a themed unboxing so if you would like to see what the theme is and what's in this box, then keep on watching. So here it is, the box from Goblin Wood. I believe they're a kind of smallish, smaller business. Um, and I saw on their social media, I'll link them in the description below, uh, on their Facebook and Instagram. They, they do themed Harry Potter boxes, so this theme is the Weasleys. So I thought, as it's the Weasleys, got to wear a Gryffindor t-shirt, got to wear a Gryffindor headband. And yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing what's in this box. So I'm just going to get right into it and unbox this um, box. I'm just going to put my one said, This is the box, it's quite weighty. Weighty, sorry. God, I need to pronounce my T's more. Um, I just take, take, took all the out packaging off, and this is how it's come. So all nice, like standard owl posts. And there's a little note on it saying, to Katie Louise, what's the purpose of a rubber duck? Love, Dobby and Creature. So that's a lovely little like personalised touch. So I'm just gonna open it all up. Off. I like I have no idea of what kind of stuff could be in here, so it's gonna be a surprise for us all. Right. So this is the size of the box. So I should have brought some scissors with me. I need to learn. I need to learn to bring scissors. I thought I had some in the bedroom. But I should get to get into this. So, box is open. I'm going to let you guys have the first sneak peek. I'm going to get this tissue paper. I can get the edge. The edge. Right, there's the sneak peek. Oh my god. So I'm loving this red tissue paper. So I have to put it down. So I'm going to go for this notebook first because it's a notebook, and it looks like it's it's a licensed notebook as well. So they must do. I don't know if it's all licensed. I should have really done my research, but they've got quite a lot of right like licensed things in this box from what I can see. So we've got a licensed, you can see that, turn the light down, there we go. So we've got a licensed uh, sticker on it and obviously it's Weasley as our king notebook. This feels so good. So let's have a look inside. So we've got a little king pattern there. And then it's just a lines notebook and it's got the Gryffindor crest in the bottom. You can see that. There we go. Yeah, and it's just lined all the way through, right to the back. <coughs> so yeah, it feels like a, like a faux leather notebook. It's really good, shiny. And it says it's got 240 pages, and that's the back. Yeah, it's just licensed, and it's by Half Moon Bay, the company. So yeah, I was really surprised. I wasn't expecting like licensed items as well. So just getting the things out. So what's this? 
Oh, so another licensed item, and it's a little rubber key ring. So again, part of the licensed hamper range. It's stuck in the packaging. And it's one of the, is it Chibli key rigs? And obviously it's of Lawn. Pers in my opinion, I'm not a fan of this kind of style, but I love the fact it's in here because obviously it's a Weasley themed box. And obviously we all love Lawn, so yeah, another licensed item. I've got to get this out. <laughs> it had to be in this box. The little rubber ducky. So that's going to look cool on my shelves. Find a space for all of it. What's next? So I can see, obviously, there's a Funko Pop in this box. A Funko Pop. I've never had a subscription box or like a themed box with a Funko Pop in it so I'm gonna have to take it out I used to collect them but I didn't have the room so I had to get rid of them all so but this one is Fred Weasley and I think he's in his Yule Ball outfit is it Yule Ball? I think it is the Yule Ball series because that's the other characters in this set but yeah it's Fred Weasley! Oh my god, I'm gonna ha I know hate people hate this, but I'm just gonna have to take him out of the box just to have a closer look at him. Right. Have a little closer look at Fred. So here he is, Fred Weasley. And he looks so cool, he's got his little arms crossed. Obviously he's got his long hair, I think all the boys had long hair in that one, the Goblet of Fire. So yeah, oh my god, I have my first Funko Pop back and it's of a Weasley. I love it. Pop that down. Let's have a look. Oops, he's just fallen off. So this is what we've got there. I can see a pin, so I'm going to go for that. As we all know, I love pins. You can only just see one of my boards over there. But so we have, I'm guessing they're all licensed products. I wasn't expecting this, but it's another pin, and it's the Weasley is our king pin. So that's going to be cool. So here it is, up close. So we've got Weasley is our king, and yeah, another licensed pin loving it. I'm loving this box because I've never had a box with like all licensed items in. Right, let's go for ooh, the chocolate. So we've had this chocolate in Geek Gear boxes and we now know that it's made by James and Oliver Phelps, the Weasley Twins. So we've got another, well I've got this to try again and this is the original chocolate. So let's see, obviously 50% cocoa, so yeah, and it's more, obviously it's got 1% sugar, vegan friendly, gluten free and high in fibre. So that's a good shout from uh, Goblin Wood for including this because it's actually been made by the Weasley Twins in a sense. So and I've actually got the packaging there, <laughs> so I've got two now, <laughs> so yeah. Another great item. So we've got let's bubble wrap. Let's just bubble wrap. Two items left. So we've got another. This is a hallmark item. So it's like a little beanie, hallmark, itty bitty, Harry Potter beanie toys. So again, we've got. Mr. Ronald Weasley in his robes. Doesn't he look cute? <laughs> so yeah, I've never seen these before. Again, another licensed item I didn't know about. But yeah, he's very, very cute. That's what he looks like at the back. Yeah, and he's very soft. Very cute. So yeah, 
I'm very impressed with this box. So last, last by no means least, we have a brown paper bag. And we have some sweeties. So we've got some lollipops. Three different lollipops. Yeah. So yeah. I'm very surprised. I wasn't expecting like a box with all licensed items in. So yeah. I'm, I'm shocked. So yeah, this is probably my first box that I've had that's had all licensed items in. And I was really impressed. So and this is my first box from Goblin Wood, so that's why I wanted to unbox it and do a little review just in case anyone was interested. So, yeah, what do you think of these kind of boxes which have uh, licensed items in? I think it's quite cool because I know obviously people were a bit funny about like spending money on things like licensed things because of the whole J.K. Rowling situation, but. If you love the, bar the the fandom so much, you just spend your money wherever. So, and I love obviously Geek Gear doing their own thing, and this is Goblin Wood doing their own thing. So it's kind of cool to have a bit of of a balance of both, really. So, yeah, can't believe it. So I'm just gonna obviously there's no like cheat sheet or spoiler card. It's just literally the box. So. Favourites? Hmm. I think Fred is going to be a favourite because obviously I don't have any Funko Pops and it's nice to have a Funko Pop of Fred. I've got to find a place for him now on my shelf. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a favourite, I think. Also, Pin. You know I love pins, so that was also going to be a favourite. And I think my last, my top three is Fungo Pop, Pin and this notebook. It actually feels really good. Obviously it's made by Half Moon Bay and it's obviously a licensed item. But yeah, loving it. I just love, love this box. So Goblin Wood, if you're watching, you've done a great job. I was very surprise I wasn't expecting this box to have all licensed items so yeah happy <laughs> um, so yeah I'm gonna leave Goblin Wood social media in the description they've put out the advert for their next themed box which I'm hoping to get because it's potions themed and I need to fill up the shelf. <laughs> um, so yeah, what was your, what did you think of this box? Again, I'm just surprised. I've never had any sort of licensed item box. I know I've said that about five times, but I'm just being honest. And I would definitely purchase again from Goblin Wood. They've done a fabulous job. And yeah, so if you want to check them out, check out their Facebook and Instagram in the description below and I can't wait to see what I do in their next box so yeah so that's gonna be the end of this video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like it really means a lot to me and if you're new I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell as well so you'll be notified every time I upload a video so that's it. Take care guys. I'll just speak to you in the next one.